Burkina Faso. Land of resilience, land of revolution. Twice this year, we've seen military coups shake the nation. First, Traore ousted President Damaba, promising stability and action against the jihadist threat. But just weeks ago, his own regime faced a fresh coup attempt. Who dared strike at the captain? And who, among his trusted circle, turned viper? Prepare to be shocked. September 30, 2023. Whispers ripple through the capital, Ouagadougou. A mutiny unfolds. Soldiers loyal to a mysterious figure clash with loyalists of Traore. It's a tense dance on the razor's edge. Thankfully, the rebellion is quashed, but the questions linger. Who orchestrated this chaos? And what were their motives? Now, buckle up. Here's where things get juicy. Traore himself addressed the nation. And guess what? He dropped a bombshell. The face, the name, the reason behind the attempted coup, everything was laid bare. The men behind the Viper's mask? The three were named as Warrant Officer Windemaleg Kabor, Sergeant Bryce Ismail Ramda, and former Corporal Sami Da, who had previously been convicted in a plot against the state in 2015. That's right. The ones who swore allegiance, the ones who shared Traore's table, the ones who seemed as trustworthy as the sunrise. Talk about a Judas complex. So, why did they do it? What drove this trusted confidant to betray their own leader, their own country? Greed? Power? Discontent with Traore's leadership? The motivations are murky, the answers far from simple. But one thing's clear, this betrayal exposes deep fissures within the military, within the very fabric of Burkina Faso's fragile political landscape. Remember, Traore promised a swift transition to democracy, a beacon of hope after years of turmoil. But this coup attempt, this deep internal divide, throws a wrench in those plans. Can Traore maintain control? Can he navigate this minefield of distrust and deliver on his promise? The future of Burkina Faso hangs in the balance. This is bigger than just one man's betrayal. This is about the future of Burkina Faso, the future of West Africa. We, the people, demand transparency. We need to stay informed, question the narratives, and hold our leaders accountable. Don't let this story fade into the news cycle. Share it, discuss it, keep the pressure on. The future of Burkina Faso depends on it. The impoverished Sahel state is one of Africa's most turbulent countries, enjoying few periods of stability since gaining independence from France in 1960 as the Republic of Upper Volta. Last year, it experienced two coups, both of them fueled by anger within the military over the toll from a long-running jihadist insurgency. Traore took power on September 30, 2022, at the age of just 34, making him the world's youngest leader outside of royalty. He toppled Colonel Paul-Henri Sandiogo Damaba, who little more than eight months earlier had ousted Burkina's elected president, Rock Mark Christian Kabor. Shortly after Traore's takeover, military prosecutors in December said there had been an attempt to destabilize state institutions. Those behind it, they said, were civilians and a lieutenant colonel named Emmanuel Zungrana. More than 16,000 civilians, troops, and police in Burkina Faso have died since jihadists in neighboring Mali launched their campaign in 2015, according to an NGO monitor called the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project. More than 2 million people have been forced to flee their homes, creating one of Africa's worst internal displacement crises. Traore has promised a return to democracy with presidential elections by July 2024. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more captivating content like this, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. We truly appreciate your support. Every contribution, no matter how small, helps us continue creating high-quality content for you.